Hey, a uh, friend in the group had uh, recommended I kind of go through our setup. Um, this is the budget uh, live streaming setup version. So uh, just for starters, we've got a little rack here. Got the old, old school um, TV studio running a, uh, running a Raspberry Pi and um, using a web presenter as well because we used to have to do picture in picture on our computer. So here is a uh, you know, live stream studio. So that's what we use. Uh, we used to use uh, picture in picture, but this will be the first Sunday we're trying out lower thirds because I got lower thirds on the Raspberry Pi sorted out. So there's the feed from Raspberry Pi. Obviously don't want that full screen. And uh, yeah, downstream key on off uh, set up here. In, uh, in the software. So, on and off. It's a little bit hard to see, I think, with the, uh, with the light. Forgive the yellowness. Um, that's just, uh, that's what our space is like with fluorescence. I didn't feel like booting up the, uh, the entire lighting system. I've been here quite literally 12 hours today. So, uh, another thing I wanted to show you was our switcher. So, that is my switcher, freshly labeled. So we've got program one through six, preview one through six. Um, got uh, media player one and two program buttons, fade to black, uh, downstream key. So that's my toggle uh, for downstream key. Got an auto, so that's an auto fade, and then have a cut. And some toggles for audio, uh, switched from a, a camera-based audio to AES audio. So, um, yeah. Uh, the fader fader works so I can cross fade manually if I want to I can use auto with a preset timer and I can cut if I want to um, this XS mini um, what am I doing how am I doing this um, well I'm using a program called X touch mini ATEM um, it's uh, I think it's JavaScript and so um, it just sits here, runs in the background, and sends network signals over to my ATEM. So this is actually plugged into my PC. Um, this uh, USB X-Touch Mini plugged into my, my PC. And then uh, this program sends network signals based on the MIDI commands coming from that program. So it just sits here kind of quietly in the background. You can see, um, you know, my downstream key comes on air. If I hit the downstream key, and you can see this in the ATEM software um, without any issues. So, yeah, doing a couple things here. Doing uh, lower thirds with a Raspberry Pi, and then doing the X-Touch Mini ATEM controller. Uh, that's probably the highlight um, of my setup. Um, working on, so the, the program, you know, so here as, as, I change, as I change lyrics, you can see you know, the lyrics are changing. Uh, it's, it's all HTML and CSS. Um, so I'm working on, on figuring out how to sort out the alignment. So I've, I've got a, a mouse connecting to my ProPresenter iMac. Um, but everything is bottom justified right now. And I think I would like to, to potentially have a, um, a little mask in the background so it's it's a little bit easier to read uh, the text but doing so requires a consistent um, text position and and uh, and wrapping etc so for now uh, I'm not doing the background for the bottom and uh, we'll see how it goes over the weekend so right on everyone hope you have a good night's rest and uh, have a great Sunday in the morning